Scott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, all the members of the committee. Um, very pleased to uh, be part of this important effort. Uh, we think that uh, increasing housing production and making more housing choices available to Rhode Islanders is very important for, for smart growth. It's very important for us to have any growth uh, in this state. And uh, there are four basic um, concerns I want to outline. I agree with just about everything that you, Mr. Chair, and, and other members of the uh, commission have said so far. A big concern we have is what we kind of flippantly call uh, vasectomy zoning. Um, zoning and land use decision making that basically starts from the premise that kids are bad for a community and that the more we can prevent housing that is going to be attractive or even feasible for families with children, the better off our community is. That is a path to economic and population stagnation for the state and where we may reap the whirlwind of that by losing a congressional seat. Um, so I think it's very important that we address that issue as best we can. Uh, there are some myths and urban legends that have to be attacked. There are a series of uh, studies that were done well in, with well, good intentions and that have some good data in them. Cost of community services studies done in the late 90s. These have become the holy grail for communities that want to justify not having housing for kids. The basic premise is that kids, additional kids in a community cost more for the city's um, revenue situation, tax situation, than the benefits they provide. But if we want to help merchants on the main streets of these communities, and we want to help the state as a whole, we've got to look at the cost versus benefit ratio in a broader and I think more realistic way. So I commend the governor for introducing uh, in her budget a uh, provision modeled on the 40S program in Massachusetts which will provide some financial incentives to communities to encourage them to accept family-friendly, child-friendly housing if they can demonstrate that accepting a development of that sort is actually going to increase their school costs. And that may not be as easy to demonstrate as conventional wisdom suggests. Um, another thing I think is important is uh, with uh, the transit master plan coming out soon, and we think it's going to have some bold recommendations to increase transit in the state and to have more uh, uh, transit stations, we ought to be looking at very seriously at having dense uh, mixed income, mixed use development, including a lot of housing around these train stations. Certainly Pawtucket Central Falls is a great short-term target for that. Grow Smart Rhode Island, uh, in conjunction with uh, Housing Works Rhode Island and Roger Williams University, did a report uh, about a year ago now that identified uh, housing opportunities around uh, transit nodes in the state, five different transit nodes, major housing opportunities if the appropriate density is allowed by local communities, tens of thousands of, of additional units of potential housing. And this wasn't even in, the, in Providence or in the, th some of the bigger cities. It was in Woonsocket and in uh, North and South Kingstown and, uh, and Westerly uh, and Newport. Uh, a final point is one that we've heard a lot about, but it's, it's worth reiterating. We don't fund affordable and workforce housing opportunities to the extent our neighbors do and to the extent we need to. And I think part of this is because for years, affordable and workforce housing has been viewed by many in Rhode Island, present company excluded, as strictly a social service program, not an economic and community development program. We've got to get beyond that narrow mindset because expanding housing choices is critical for both economic and community development. So, I'm glad to see the governor proposing a line item uh, uh, for housing in the budget. We hope that that can be a permanent uh, part of the uh, answer to the housing shortage and inventory shortage, as well as generous bonding. So I'm looking forward to the deliberations and the discussion, and thanks again for including me.